All right, so I'm back. It's been several days since I've been here. Uh, I just got busy with work and everything else. So I'm um, going to try and get this, these faces kind of sanded up a bit and get this all sanded, see if I can even get some compound on here. Actually, I'm, like I said, I'm not going to use wood filler. I probably could have got some wood filler, but I have some somewhere. I don't know where it is. So I was going to use this 90, Easy Sand 90. Um, but I think I'm just going to use, um, I have some 45 that I'm probably going to use. It'll dry a little bit quicker and it'll still give me enough time to get things done. So I have my six inch sander. I put a hundred grit on, took off the 150. This is 150. I threw a hundred on because some of these surfaces are pretty uneven and I have it attached to my HEPA vac. <clears throat> so let me get to sanding. So I don't think that this 100 is going to do what I want. So I'm going to see if I have 80. I know I have 80 for a smaller <clears throat> sander, but I don't think that it'll fit the uh, vacuum and I need that. So I'm just going to uh, just going to run out back, see what I got. All right, I'm back. So I found 80 grit, obviously much smaller and holes don't match. So I made my own hole. It will work. Uh, you know, I might sacrifice this uh, mounting pad, but I have others. So this will speed things along for me. So that's what my intention is to get this thing done quickly. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep sanding on this. As you can see, I'm eating up the edges of this thing here. I don't really care. All right, back in business. Time to get rolling again. have one last edge to do. Well, I'm going to clean up a few more edges over here. I'm just going to kind of work my way around, just make sure things are reasonably smooth. They don't have to be perfect, but for one, I'm good. All right, so I have my Easy Sand 45, but before I get into this, I'm actually, I need to drill some holes here for cords to go through. Uh, so, and I basically need to come down the center. Uh, so I'm gonna be kind of left and right of this, try and stagger these and then come right down the center uh, here. The idea is uh, on the back of this, I'll have a, um, 
I'll have a channel. I'll have like a, a you know a wire chase that will allow me to get pretty much any wires I need through. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna drill a couple quick holes. And I just wanna drill these holes first so I can sand it up and get it done and out of the way. Paddle bits always do that when they break through the back side, they tend to bind up. Okay, one down. And this one, I'm just gonna kinda come right down the center here. I know that the PC is gonna be sitting, the bottom is gonna be sitting somewhere about here, so I'm not really measuring this because I don't really care. I know it's going to be pretty close to where I need it to be. And again, just going to kind of come right up from here to the center. All right, everything's vacuumed, but before I get going, I'm gonna kind of clean up some of this mess. There's quite a bit of um, sawdust on the floor, so I'm just gonna kind of clean this up before it gets too much of a mess and out of control. It's amazing how far these wood chips fly when you have a, when you have a paddle bit going. I mean, they're flying, flying up you know, from the hole here, I'm drilling all the way out. I don't feel like these getting spread around, so I'll just sweep up a little bit. You'd be amazed at how many people are okay just working in a mess. You know, they'll make a mess and then they'll work on top of the mess and it's just, uh, you know, in a place like this with PCs and it's public, you know, you got people coming in everywhere a lot. It makes, you know, can cause problems pretty quickly. So I'd rather just kind of nip that in the bud and make sure that we're good. I'm sure I could have paid someone to build something like this. As a matter of fact, I know I could, but I had the material from a couple of years ago and from three years ago, really just sitting around and rather than me tossing it and letting someone start from scratch, I figured I would just do it myself. Um, you know, probably not the best use of my time, but at the same time, I don't, I don't, I do enjoy carpentry, woodworking. I enjoy painting, all that stuff. So it doesn't bother me doing this stuff. Um, you know, I guess everyone has a, Hobby or pastime, and oh, this is mine, part of it. All right, so I decided to go with the 90 instead of the 45. This will last longer, although I don't need it to. Probably gonna be done in 15 minutes or so. But what I'm gonna do is um, get some, you know, my water. I'm just gonna mix a little bit up here, get this compounded. Next time you see this, it'll be dry and. Um, it will be ready for sanding and paint. That's good for me. I don't really want it thinner than what that is. Um, maybe. And that's just a few drops and you'll see what it does to that amount. Yeah, so I'm just going to start filling in gaps and things.
least like I said I'm not super worried about this cracking or anything because I feel like it's gonna have latex paint on it pretty heavy coat or coats plural and because of that I don't feel that it's gonna crack or anything So this corner, I forgot about. I don't think I'm gonna do anything with this corner. This corner is not glued. I mean, it's it's not coming apart, but that will crack. So I'm gonna glue this. I'm gonna glue this tonight before we leave. So I'll just have to compound that. Thought about using um, they have this stuff called Ready Patch. I thought about using that stuff. It's actually much stronger, um, but I didn't have any, and I have a ton of this stuff. And Ready Patch can be a pain in the ass to sand. When it's done, it's much harder than this stuff. This stuff's soft and pretty easy to sand without a huge mess, which is what I like. That's why they call it easy sand, I guess, right? And you know, this has actually taken me quite a bit of time to do, but the reality of it is um, it mostly took time just because I have to run a business. Um, I probably could have got this done in a day and a half maybe. I don't think it would have taken much longer than that um, between cutting it and all that stuff. It's pretty, this stuff's not pretty, this stuff's pretty basic. It's, um, it's not super difficult to do um, you know it's just one of those things that you just gotta find the time to do it like you know this this stuff here what I just did today two hours if that um, you know total uh, but you know I have to set up cameras lights move things around so that takes time um, but not a big deal it's nice to be able to kind of document it a bit screws and glue around this whole thing uh, and I'm probably I'm debating if I'm gonna actually put some metal brackets to secure this to this I'm not a hundred percent sure I am not sold on it yet if it needs it but um, once you know I, I can assemble this and then I have the brackets that I think I'm gonna use so So it's a little holes from when I screw this together. It's got to make sure I find them all and get as many as I can patched. All right, that's it for now. So I'm just gonna glue this corner a little bit and that far corner over there. And call it a night, clean up my mess.
You're still here? I told you, this is over for today. I don't have anything else to do. This has got to dry, and then I'm going to sand it. Don't worry, you're going to get to see everything painted. I mean, just got to take care of it. So go home. Go. Get out of here. Nothing else to see.